the question says, to which set or sets does each number belong? Okay, so when we look at negative 8 and we consider uh, all of the sets that we have, well, this is for sure in the set of integers. Integers are within Q, so we would include that, and we would also say the real numbers. So negative 8 is an integer, uh, a rational, and a real number. The square root of 15 is not a, uh, not a, a clean number. It has a whole string of decimals. So we immediately say that this belongs to Q bar or the irrationals and the reals. Square root of 16. Well, you're, you might be tempted to call that irrational, but if you think about it, the square root of 16 is in fact 4. And 4 is a natural number. It's an integer. It's a rational number. And it's a real number. Oh, and a whole number as well. I nearly left that one out. So in fact, it's all of those sets, the integers, the naturals, the wholes, the rationals, and the reals. Negative 19 over 5, that doesn't come out to any kind of clean value. There, That is a terminating decimal. If you were to work that out, you'd say that that's negative 4.8 because it's terminating, it is Q and R. 5.03, another terminating decimal. So that belongs to the set of Q, the rationals, and the real numbers. 0 0.45 with a bar on top means the 4, 5 repeats. Once again, that's Q and are the rationals and the reals. 7 pi looks a little bit tricky because the negative 7 is suggesting integers, but if you multiply that by pi, you get a number that is irrational because pi itself is irrational. So that, for sure, is q bar and r. And finally, 4.12112, 1112, it looks like we're getting a string of ones that are increasing in their repetition. We can't divide any two numbers to produce this. This is irrational, but also real. It covers most of what you need to know, and I'm out of time.